Via South Carolina, WIS News 10 starts with developing news. First at 7, friends and family will gather tomorrow night to remember two young people who died in an ATV collision over the weekend. Today, the coroner identified the juveniles as 8-year-old Anaya Chalk and 16-year-old Jada Flood from Calhoun County. According to South Carolina Highway Patrol, a tractor trailer was traveling north on US 601 Saturday afternoon. Troopers say the four-wheeler tried to cross the road and was hit near the intersection of Scenic Drive, killing the two girls. The driver of the tractor trailer was not injured. WIS reporter Naomi Popa spoke with Anaya and Jada's families. It was the road behind me that the girls were driving across before investigators say they were hit by a tractor trailer. The family tells me they're thankful the girls are still together. At approximately 420 Saturday afternoon, just hours before Jada's 17th birthday party, the girls took a ride on an ATV. Anaya's grandmother tells me she never would have imagined that they wouldn't have come home. They did everything together and actually sad to say they died together. Kareem Flood, Jada's brother, tells me he loved both girls and will never forget the impact they had on his life. He says his sister was always the best person to be around and that since her passing, a part of his heart feels gone. They were very joyful, like everybody around loved them, like no matter who they were, you didn't know them, they were very lovable, like they were almost perfect to me, like. Family members tell me the girls had giving hearts and will be remembered for their ability to live life to the fullest and for their friendship. Anaya's grandmother tells me although the girls were eight years apart, you would not have been able to tell. She says they did everything together. Kareem tells me they will never be forgotten. That took, it felt like my heart is going up as well. Like, I just love those girls so much. Like, like I said, like I had them. That's how I feel about them. Like, it was nothing I wouldn't do for them, both of them. My niece, my sister, like, those are my girls. I love them. Jada attended Orangeburg High School for Health Professionals. They held a vigil and a moment of silence for her on Monday with words from classmates, school administration, and faculty. Family tells me they'll be holding a memorial balloon release for both girls to celebrate their lives on what would have been Jada's 17th birthday on Tuesday. Reporting in Orangeburg, I'm Naomi Popa, WIS News 10. And we have more information on the balloon release on our website, WISTV.com.